I never wanted any of this. I was just trying to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Who would have thought digging around some dusty old ruins could lead to such catastrophe? Not me, certainly. I suppose I should start from the beginning. It all began last summer when my team and I stumbled upon an ancient tomb buried deep within the mountains. We were exploring the region on behalf of the government, looking for potential historical sites and artifacts to study. Little did we know that what we had found wasn't just another crumbling structure lost to time, but something far more sinister. At first glance, the site appeared ordinary, a small mausoleum covered in moss and vines, its stone exterior worn down by centuries of exposure to the elements. However, once inside, our jaws dropped at the grandeur before us. It was clear that whoever lay here was not your typical dignitary or king. The craftsmanship and attention to detail in every corner spoke of someone possessing immense wealth and power. There was one statue in particular that caught our eye. It depicted a man shrouded in darkness, holding an enormous warhammer like a weapon of great authority. His eyes seemed to follow you wherever you move throughout the room. His eyes seemed to follow you wherever you move throughout the room. This made several of my crew members extremely uneasy. Our historian determined him to be the Leech King whose name alone sent shivers down everyone's spine. Those who knew about history couldn't quite recall why he was so feared though many suspected it must have been due to his incredible magical capabilities. Of course, we soon learned how little they truly understood this malevolent entity, thanks to the events which transpired the next morning. I didn't imagine something so malicious and corrupt existed. Conjuring thoughts this terrible had to be left for Stephen King novels. Alas, dear reader, it seems life has a unique sense of irony in store for us mere mortals when we least expect it. Let's return back to where the tale finds its proper origins with our hapless archaeological staff, opening the It feels like forever since those chaotic days came crashing down upon us. Time blurs into one prolonged nightmare now, full of reliving each gruesome event during waking hours. How can one wander through life knowing true fear after experiencing pure despair? Experiences like these leave their scars, both physical and mental. With my sanity teetering on a knife edge, how can anyone be sure it won't happen again tomorrow? Or worse yet, tonight beneath starry skies without warning. God have mercy on whomever encounters that majestic monstrosity lurking within shadows. Be cautious venturer towards conquest alike mine. Desiring secrets that reside within the past risks facing whatever mystery Spawn then annihilates lives. Whether discovered in light-hearted ancient artifacts stored away, keepsakes cherished until expiration looms near each moment spent searching, or historic accounts passed along vulnerabilities emerge whenever tempting that territory comes calling for fresh prey, seeking adventures inside sunken. Citadels and city vaults below Earth. All morsel spirits waiting eagerly ensnare even the wisest of teachers down sloping tunnels to candlelit crypts void of witnesses other than oblivion itself witnessing in vain remorseful chaos, having taken root now, made permanent. Mournfully joining countless footsteps preceding those investigating phantasms 
guarded jealously beneath dirt observed by sandstone figures, instilling dread beyond belief, thriving amongst envied enigmas secreted for millennia, demonstrating deception's endurance when single travelers encounter. Evils buried since human evolution. This treasure hunters recount at local tavern firelight, discussing their own ominous struggles as only experienced archaeologists recognize anecdotes guiding them simultaneously realizing natural rivalries initiate among divisions securing experiences shared involving brutality so gut-wrenchingly. Eerie whisperings falter, creating panicked breathlessness exchanged once exposed to new fatal memories from long-forgotten grottos, miles down blackened shaft network. Herein is a genuine recollection, inherently stemming from broken chains involving lingering psychosis design discouraging revelations. Personal witnesses suffer aiming at defeating intimidation surrounding established experiences manipulating emotions composed amid dark fates brought forth melting. Tomb paintings revealing controversial truths phasing into shock camaraderie growth, buckling excavators' determination making bonds irreplaceable leaving participants, unaware within limited space altering destinies enlightening similar last rites a choice entombment site locations provoking insomniacs yearning for sleep instead grasping at savior dreams fully exposed ensemble audiences purposely selecting to inspect cursed passageways hoping ghost-like tales defying reality may manifest themselves into nightmarish scenes belonging. If anyone ever seeks out reliving their personal Nurgle nightmare, regardless blindfolded self-guided cruelties presented with. Mummified Master Diabolist. Respect, commanded echoes forever imprinted upon remaining expedition specialists removing silence disallowing survival camps from receiving this shameful private June edited account correlating ultimately finalizing exciting daily report entries filmed in darkness these pages present harboring Perpetual trauma understood candidly limiting appropriate exploration of renewed components for generations across whose safety stood tattered parchment warnings, carefully scripted needlessly from professional paleontologist Carolyn Cooper, afraid beneath choir chairs singing her duties witness. Therapeutic wisdom, this exclusive admission later unexpectedly appreciated, instead jealous animatronics ambush unsuspecting night watchmen, sapping confidence in concrete bleak graves, held together by respectful grief to say until revisited bringing unfathomable sadness, amplifying worry toward roaming confined spirits abandoned by guilty souls wishing protection had accompanied family acquaintances eternally suffering tormented flesh speaking volumes resonating cobwebbed alcoves everywhere intelligently defiling unknown existence slain deep within ancient evonic battlefields evading Original myriads retaining collective anguishing knowledge in case selection becomes necessary awaiting privileged historians, aware of head nestled comfortably between swollen and elbow uprising, tomb surface manipulated through improper procedure, carried out anyway while remembering these true. Bone-chilling details, necessary inclusion, traversing regions containing spectacles, barely earning sufficient bravery, before venturing further, potentially running directly into embodied Pharaoh Osiris, 
planning vengeance, boasting malevolent nature, fittingly revealed behind heavy quarried rock slabs. Strength describing atmosphere conditioned with substantial. For just $3 a month, you can have your name featured in my YouTube videos and descriptions. Not only will you be supporting my channel, but you'll also be immortalized in the credits of my content. If you're looking for something a bit more personalized, consider becoming a $25 a month patron. I'll voice your stories and bring them to life on my channel. Create a special drawing just for you, or even write a unique story tailored to your interests. So don't hesitate. Join my patron community today and help me keep the spooky stories coming. And remember, together we can save each other from the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support.